got that I turn the ring on in them, in them Not knowing when I'm never gonna slow up in them Ready to stand So, back here for another segment. Jinx Peas Kitchen. I'm about to get it popping with some steak, with some shrimp, and big potato. So, let's get set up and get it going. Jinx Peas Kitchen is officially getting it popping right now. As y'all can see, I got a steak here, a little bit of shrimp, got some onions I cut up. And I'm gonna do a baked potato. I'm gonna do the potato first because it takes the longest to cook. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna do the baked potato first because it takes the longest to cook. So let's get this started. I'm only on my lunch break right now too. And my lunch break is only 30 minutes. And um, just the potato itself is gonna take up the rest of my lunch time. So I'm gonna have to like try to finagle something. And uh, see what happens. Cook this as I work, I guess. So. First I'm going to do with the baked potatoes, put some um, olive oil on it. Some olive oil up in there. I'm just going to rub that into the potato. I thought I had another bottle of olive oil, but I don't know where it is. Could have sworn I just got one a couple of days ago. But this one still had a little bit left in it, so I'm going to mix this up right here. I gotta find, I gotta find, well I don't need to find, I need to buy some more latex gloves. When you messing with stuff that's like oily, I hate it, I hate the way it feels on my hands. But um, alright. So let me just wash my hands off. See, I'm going to be constantly doing that throughout this process. Put a little pepper on it. Okay. I should dry my hands first. Alright. A little pepper on it. A little salt. thing you want to do with the potato you want to poke some holes in it so, take a fork or a knife mm. so go around it put some holes in it poking these holes yeah I poking these holes go around it it's a tough potato Steak and potatoes. As my uh, Caucasian friends would say, steak and potatoes, huh? What are you doing, huh? Making potatoes? What are you doing over there, Jinx? You making steak and potatoes, huh? Come on. Forget about it. All right, so should be enough. Now, you want to put the potato in the air fryer for about... I'm gonna do mine at like three. I'm gonna do mine maybe at like three ninety six for about forty minutes. No, actually, I'm gonna do it for. I'm gonna do it for twenty minutes. Look at it, and then I'll put it back in there for the last ten if it needs it. So let's take it over to the air fryer. Come on, y'all. See, it's in the air fryer, ready to go. We got it set at 396, almost 400. And we're gonna go for 20 minutes, take a look at it, and then if we need the last, if we need an additional 20 minutes, we're gonna do it. So we'll be back. That baked potato is cooking. I'm gonna come back over here to my um, steak. As you see, it's been marinating. I was supposed to, I was actually supposed to do this last night, and um, someone actually ended up bringing me dinner. So I said, well, I'll just cook it for lunch. So. But I got over here some steak marinade. This is what I have in marinade. I'll just show you what I use. Steak and chopped marinade. A little bit of um, 
57? Is that 57? Um, what was the last thing? Oh, a little bit of steak seasoning that I got from Price Right. So all that's in my bag. And seeing that, I, seeing that lunch was, I mean dinner was brought to me, this has been marinating for almost 24 hours, so it should be really good. So we'll be back and get this process started once the baked potatoes are done. Let's go. Alright, so <coughs> off camera, I actually have punched this up to 30 minutes. And we're at, it's been in there for about maybe 10 minutes now. So let's take a look at it. Coming along. I mean, a potato looks like a potato until you cut into it. So, oh yeah. Coming along. Coming along. Got about 20 more minutes on it. Then we're gonna cut it open, season it, put some butter in there. Then we're gonna start on the steak. But see, by that time, my lunch break will be over. So, I don't know. We'll do this in two parts or something. So there is the completed baked potato. You know, see it's still hot, but it's melting on it. That's the completed baked potato. It's very soft, very, uh, very, I'm just ready to eat it, alright? So now we're gonna um, get this steak popping. But yeah, I did this for about 40 minutes at, I think it was 390? 390, 40 minutes in the air fryer. I did the steak popping. I gotta get that work. Alright. So now we got the steak going. Now what I did is put a little bit of foil inside the basket because I want the steak to cook in its own juices. You know what I'm saying? It'll come out a lot more tender that way. So this is a shank steak. You can see by the bone in the middle. Um, I'm gonna cook this at 350 for about 20 minutes in the air fryer and we'll come back and then um maybe like the last eight minutes i'm gonna throw the rest of the shrimp in there with it and uh let me, let's see what happens oh wait a minute i almost forgot my onion put up the damn onions and put them in there we got some onions i'm throwing it up on here some onions up in there i can smell that baked potato i'm gonna eat that like right now Desk. So we're gonna throw these onions up in here. Alright, so we're gonna put it in the air fryer at 350 for about 20 minutes. Does that have to go a little longer? I mean, it just depends on how you like it. I mean, I like my steak medium well. Um, so, you know, 350. One minute should be good, especially for this size steak. Let's go. This kitchen smells good right now. Alright, so we're 10 minutes in. Let's take a look. I knew those flavors were going to come out, but that's cool. I don't get the flavors in there. Look at that. So tender too. Ooh, I, gotta, uh, I got. I have to try it. I gotta try a piece. I need to make sure it's cooked. Let this go for another 10 minutes. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm eating it like it's the last thing on the planet. 
I'm gonna go for another 10 minutes. Actually, no, the remainder of the time, let me just put the shrimp in there. Shrimp in there with it. No. I don't really care. It's all going to the same place anyway. So. In my belly. Alright, so we're gonna do this and come back. And there's the finished product, people. Bake. Shrimp. Baked potato. Got some veggies over here on the side. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm tell you right now. If you got easy bake oven skills, don't don't come for me. Alright? Don't come at me with your easy bake oven skills. How do you think this is? Jinx Peas Kitchen, baby. So let's break it down real quick. Steak in the air fryer. 350 for about 20, 25 minutes, depending on how well you want it done. Baked potato, you might want to do that first. Uh, 40 minutes at 390, I think it was. Well, you can go back earlier, not whatever the right temperature was back then. So 390 for about 40 minutes, you might want to do that first. I put the shrimp in at the last few minutes with the steak, steamed up some vegetables. Now we're going to go eat. You know? Where you at? Let's see the kitchen, baby. Let's go. This looks more like a gun. It smells good. I gotta eat it now. Hopefully when I go to the gym, I can burn a little bit of myself. But, whatever. I gotta get back to work. So, till next time, people. I got that I'm